Welcome everyone. Welcome to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. It's always wonderful to um, come on here and to make a video that can help you to start scaling your business to the next level. So today we're going to be talking about how to use social media to take your sewing shop to the next level. And it's awesome. And I am so grateful and thankful um, for all of my subscribers. I want to make sure that I do mention that my numbers are starting to go up and I would love to monetize this channel and to start making some income off of it. And if you would give me the thumbs up on this video and some of my other videos and also subscribe to my channel, that would be so amazing to me. And I would thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, so today we're going to be talking about how to use social media, to take your business to the next level. Even if you only just have a sewing shop and it's not quite a business yet, that's okay. I work with uh, sewing shops and small businesses and to help them. So I know you don't know everything and that's why I'm here to help you to learn um how to do that, how to take your business to the next level. Level. So we're gonna get started. So number one is to know your product or service well and talk about your experience, talk about your love for what you do and educate your audience um, you know, how much you enjoy doing the things that you do and what the outcome you want to, you want to, when you post on social media, you want to tell them the outcome of your service or your product that you're offering. So you want to make sure that they understand if they use your product, how they're going to feel. If they use your service, how it's going to make them feel and the impact it will have on their life, right? So you want to make sure that you do that. And then number two is to have a daily plan on what uh, you will post and where you will post it, what platforms you will use, um, what you, it is you will post, you know, what kind of content. Will you just only post pictures? Will you post pictures with written word? Will you just post um, written word? Or will you make videos? Will you do some lives? Um, videos. It just depends on what it is your personality is, what it is you want to promote and how much energy and effort you want to put into it. Because I'm, I'm a very shy person myself. And after learning about YouTubes and learning about live events, live Facebook, um, and things like that, it's not that bad. After you practice it and you keep doing it, it's not all that bad. So if I can do it, I'm so sure that you can do it just as good and um, it just takes a lot of planning and a lot of practice and that's it and you can start um, really getting the word out there about your product or service so then number three you want to make sure that you pick which platforms you will use so will you use you know LinkedIn will you use Facebook will you use YouTube you know what platform is it that you are on or what platform is it that would be best suited for what it is you have to offer? So if it's business to business, what you're offering, the best place would be on LinkedIn. If it's um, more family oriented, things like that, what you're offering, maybe it would be best on Facebook. It just really depends what it is you're offering, where you feel your um, biggest audience is, um, your potential clients, where they are, and um, how you can start relating to them, right? And relating to them is really a matter of doing what you do. Do what you do, right? And show them what you do. Don't show them exactly how you go about doing everything, but just give them bits and pieces of what it is you do. So number four, I hope you guys all had an amazing weekend. I had so much fun visiting my family and spending some time swimming and uh, just laughing and having a whole good time, you know, eating a lot of really good food and, um, you know, just really hanging out. And it's really was a really nice weekend where we got to enjoy each other's company and really just um, you know, hang out with each other and talk and, and laugh and just have a really good time. So we did a little bit of traveling too, and that was nice. And um, so, yeah, so I hope you all had an amaz amazing and healthy uh, 4th of July. And um, 
So, and you're ready now to get started in your business and um, I want to help you so much. So, okay. So we are on number four. So in number four is how will you put your content out there? Um, so will it be by video? Will it be by written word? Will it be photos? Will you start writing a blog or what? What will your um, you know, main focus be on getting your content out there on a daily basis where you can start making the income you deserve. And the only way that you're going to do that is when you start to um, attract people with what it is your offer is, right? So you want to make sure that it is, um, you know, ready to be put out there. Your offer is really good and um, you're ready to start attracting um, your potential clients. So then number five, and this I didn't really know until I hooked up Google Analytics to my website and I was really able to see when my audience is out there and also on Facebook, um, on Facebook, they're, they're doing away with it. So I'm not going to really tell you about it because it's, it's just really is meaningless now, but they're going to do away with it. But um, it was also tracking your numbers on who visited your um, post and different things like that when your people were online, but you can do just as good a job with your analytics from your website. So you can see, um, you know, you know, who's following you, where they're from, different things like that, that can give you kind of an idea of uh, what time maybe you should post your content. So maybe what time your potential clients are online. So not everybody is online at the same time. A lot of people work and a lot of people do a, a lot of different things. And so you'll just need to figure out when it is your potential clients are online and when you start posting your ads and start posting your contents, are you reaching them, right? So you wanna make sure that you're posting at the right time of day to be able to reach them. So then number six. So number six, is use the, the free app called Canva. So when you use this free app called Canva, you can get a lot of different template templates for a lot of different things that you wanna post. So say, for instance, you wanna post an ad or you wanna post just maybe a photo with some content or something like that. So you can go on there and find the um, ad, find the template for an ad, find a template for other things and be able to create the ad that you want. Uh, so if it's a you know Facebook um, post, you can find a Facebook template there. If it's a LinkedIn post, you can find a LinkedIn template there. If it's um, a YouTube thumbnail or if it's a YouTube, um, you know, uh, you know, artwork or whatever for the top header or something like that. You can go there and find the template for that, redesign that for yourself. Um, there's just a lot of different templates that they have there, which are, is amazing. And they also have different templates uh, for you to use um, if you are writing a blog post. So if you are writing blog posts and you want to start posting photos of your own, you can go there and find the template in Canva, Canva uh, app. You can go and get it from the, um, you know, from Apple or, or whatever your phone is and uh, go there and get the app and uh, it's free and you can start, um, you know, playing around with that and start creating some different templates and some different ads that you want to start posting about your business, right? And start using the colors of your own shop and start using uh, some of the wording and some of the different things that pertain to your service or your product and start creating these and uh, have them available where you can start, say, make seven of them. And then each day you can post one and write a little bit of content and start planning this out, what it is you're going to be writing, right? And it can really help you to grow your business. So you'll want to uh, think about that. And when in doing that and writing the written word and writing the written content, you want to focus on what is the result your clients or customers are going to gain from using your product or service. We want to really focus on the results. Okay, so you don't want to go in there and tell all about how you make this and what the contents are, what the ingredients are and what all you put into it. You want to focus on the results of your product or service. And that's what you should write about. And um, so that is very helpful, too. So our bonus today is to keep your content and videos 
uh, with high vibes, right? You want to not talk about the negative, talk, not talk about the bad things that are happening in your world, right? You want to talk about the good and the good that you can bring to the world, how you can lift people's spirits, how you can make them and help them to excel, right? And, you know, keep the vibe high and also positive. So it helps to attract the right type of people who would have the income to purchase your product or service. So I hope this helps you guys. Please like this video and give me the thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It would help me in my algorithm if you subscribe to this channel. Um, I need a lot more subscribers to start um, you know, getting my, my videos out there and getting them seen by more people. You can share the video. Um, this is helpful to me too. And, um, so I can start monetizing this channel. I'd love to really see it, uh, get up there because I need to, you know, get more subscribers before I can ever start making an income from my, uh, YouTube channel. So please like and subscribe and share. Um, I would appreciate it. And I want to thank all of you for subscribing who ha already have subscribed. And um, I, you know, love you guys. And I'm trying to give you the content that I feel that can really help you, uh, hands on help you. And um, also, I love to pray for you guys every night, my subscribers, and um, to keep you in my circle, to keep you, um, you know, happy with the content that I share and to constantly, I read every single um, comment. And if I haven't gotten back to your comments yet, um, I will, or I will just post a video that relates to that. Okay. So just know that. And in time I will, uh, post other, you know, content about using my machines and, uh, making different things and things like that. But these are some tips that you can get started on right away and start really improving your situation and your business. Okay. So thanks so much for subscribing. Thanks for, so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. And I look forward to talking to you all in the next video. Bye-bye now.